since the 1979 elections, we have not had formidable candidates from the three frontline ethnic groups, except in these elections that we are having. So you have Hausa Ibo, you have Yoruba or Hausa Fulani, and you have Yoruba. So this has further heightened the stakes along ethnic line. And one of the ways to win these elections will actually be to buy votes. Even check on, on media across. Previously, by now there will be adverts, like series and series and series of adverts on radio, on TV station, like 40, 43 days or so to the elections. How many of such adverts are you finding? People are keeping their money to buy votes in this election. So what we will witness, what we have witnessed with the Oshun elections, with votes in some polling units going for as much as 20,000, will actually be higher in these elections where money will be playing a lot of role. So it seems people are just keeping the money and waiting till the last minute to buy the vote. But here it is actually a market because it's not just somebody that is trying to uh, forcing people to sell their votes. People are also willingly coming forward to say that we will not vote if our votes are not bought. The only thing is that with the young people, with the kind of, with the way they are galvanizing themselves to take part in these elections, uh, it might have, it will still count, it will still decide, but we will still have some very good and positive case study to see that in certain areas, people rejected vote, uh, money and decided to vote their own way, which are positives we often look at, look for during elections.